just place this proximal humerus IO. Again, it's a yellow 45 millimeter needle set. And this patient we're going to assume is either fully alert or alert to pain. And so we're going to infuse 2% preservative free and epinephrine free lidocaine over just a few minutes. And we have three mLs right now, which is 60 milligrams of 2% preservative free and epinephrine free lidocaine. And we're gonna infuse that over two divided doses. The first dose is gonna be two mLs or 40 milligrams. And we're gonna infuse that over two minutes. So we're infusing two mLs of 2% preservative-free and epinephrine-free lidocaine over two minutes. And now that we have that infused over two minutes, we're gonna allow it to dwell inside the medullary cavity for one minute. And that's really gonna bathe those nerve endings in lidocaine and numb up the inside of the medullary cavity. This slow infusion allows the medication to stay inside the medullary cavity and not move into systemic circulation. And you can see that I have um, attach the syringe directly to the hub of the catheter with the stabilizer in place. So now that it's dwelled for one minute, I'm going to remove the medication syringe and attach my flush syringe again directly to the catheter hub. And I'm going to do my 5 to 10 ml saline flush. That's going to open up that pathway for fluids and medications that allows us to have those higher flow rates, especially in the proximal humerus. I've reattached my medication syringe and I have my second dose of 20 milligrams of lidocaine. And that's, that's one ml of this 2% preservative free epinephrine free lidocaine. I'm going to infuse that slowly over one minute. And that's really going to allow the nerve endings um, that were covered in marrow for the first round of lidocaine to have access to the lidocaine and again, numb up those nerve endings. Now when I attach my Easy Connect that's primed with approximately one ml of saline, I can infuse my medication and fluids as ordered.